All right, people, so you know the drill by now, right? We're going to take a look at another A-level mass revision question. As we can see then from the screen here, today's question is on arcs and sectors. Now, what we've got then for this question here is figure one, which shows a sector of a circle. And then what I've also got here is this box, right? And this box here shows the attempt of a student to find the area of the sector as presented above, right? So for the first part of this question, then, all we want to do here is just explain the error made by the student. Now, this student here is the dumbest ever. And the reason for that is because basically, if you're going to use this formula here, beta should be in radians, not degrees, right? And as they continue to work through the question here, they've used beta in degrees, not radians, right? So basically, all we're going to say here then is that theta should be in radians. Okay, so theta should be in radians there. Perfect. As you can see as well, right, it's just one mark, so you don't need to give a novel for this. One simple line here is absolutely fine. And now for the very last part of this question here, then part B, it just wants us to write out a correct solution. So basically, just actually give the correct solution here, right? So the formula is correct here. This is almost correct. The only kind of issue, as we already kind of mentioned here in part A, right, is that this bit here should be in radians, not degrees. So if we convert the angle to radians and then apply that to this formula here. We're pretty much done. So 40 degrees here is equal to, so we times this by pi and divide by 180. So I get 40 pi over 180. And that's just the same then as 20 pi over 90, which if we just divide top and bottom by 10 here, we get 2 pi over 9, right? So this is 2 pi over 9 radians. And then if we apply that to this formula here for the area of a sector, in that case, then the area here, A, is equal to, so it's a half times the radius squared, so times that by 5 squared. And then we times this here by 2 pi over 9. So let's just simplify this here. I've got 1 over 2 times 25, so that's 25 over 2, times it by 2 pi over 9, so I get 50 pi over 18 here. And just divide top and bottom by 2 then, what we get here is 25 pi over nine there, okay? And of course, don't forget your units here as well, right? So this is centimeters squared. And Bosch, there we go, then that gives us the solution to today's question.